What's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing okay today. Today we're going to get into the beehive. This is the hive that we caught at a uh, friend of mine's house. It was just free hanging comb on a tree. Come the cold weather, every, all the bees would have ended up dying in our area. So we got them, put them in a box. We're going to see how they're doing. Hopefully everything's good. Hopefully they built onto the frames in the right direction. So we will see what we got. So first time I've opened it up probably, ooh, I hate to say it, probably three weeks now. And uh, it's a little cool today, so there will be a lot of bees in here. Like, like it's probably going to be cool. And there's not very active coming out right now either. So we're gonna get us some smoke going because I want them to stay calm. That it's pretty calm today, and I want to stay calm. Basically, sawdust wrapped in paper. All here, really. And uh, we're gonna use them to get some smoke. <laughs> Hive, so I strapped it down pretty good. I am a newbie to bees, so I do take the precautions. I don't really want to get stung. Just to be honest with you, some people go mm -hmm. out there like the uh, Texas Bee Works. I commend you. I cannot do that. I just. I'm not at that point yet. I maybe one day. I need to come out there. I'll tell you what. If y'all if y'all can get this to Texas B Works, I will try to figure out a way to collab with her and she can teach me how to just hand scoop the bees. Because every day with her, it looks like on YouTube, every day with her, the bees are just the kindest, most friendly bees that you'll ever see. I have not witnessed that yet. All right, we got everything moved up a little bit closer. That way everybody can see what we got. Like I, said, I feel like I've neglected them for the last few days. That's some old comb from when they was in the uh, tree. Oh yeah. Look at them girls there. That is a pollen patty we put on there a about, well the last time I got into the box. Give them a little bit of smoke to keep them nice and calm. Not too much. We'll use this. They have built on new comb here. That's pretty cool. If you can see it, they've built on, I just, the camera, I don't know if it you see it or not, but they built on new comb here. They've actually sealed that off there. Looks like they've actually tapped some honey up in here. Yeah, they're working right there, for sure. All right, so, no new comb, oops. Well, he just told me. I'm sorry, little fella. My bad. I just reached down and smashed him. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, they they tearing up that pollen. And it lasts a long time, too. Ah, oh, we got two combs stuck together now. Let's see. We can. All right, got a couple of them on a good antsy with me. Okay, I'm stinging me. Don't sting me. You're just gonna kill yourself. Come on. Come on. Y'all think I just killed it, but I did not kill it. I thumped it off of me. 
that's the uh that's the new beekeeper look see him trying to sting me see that yeah that would be my arm right now okay i'll let you go Okay, we got them opened up. Let's see what we got here. There is some capped honey in this thing. Ooh, look how busy they've been. Goodness gracious. That's amazing. That is pure beautiful. Look at all that capped honey. I would have loved, ooh, look at all that honey in there. I don't know if y'all can see it in the sun, but it's just glistening honey everywhere. Goodness. Wow. All right, well, if that one is that capped, then surely these other two are. These were the other two bigger pieces at home. Oh yeah, solid all through here, solid capped. And they have been busy. Wow. There's one rubber band they've got rid of. It's a good thing about rubber bands. I did learn that from Texas Bee Works watching her videos before I ever got bees. I learned if you take the comb, like a, a freestanding comb like I found, and just put rubber bands around it, they will literally they have attached all the comb that we put in here. They've attached it to the frames. I mean, it's a beautiful honeycomb. All right, let's check out this last one here. And these bees are doing great. They're calm, calm bees. Man, this one's heavy. Here's another piece of a rubber band. Just set that there, your little, little tiny come off of it. Wow, you can see how they have attached it here. This side is slam full. I want you to look at all this honey right here. Let's see if I can move them. Look at all that honey there. That is some honey. I actually got a pretty good ball of bees on the inside right here. I don't know what they're doing. Unless that's a piece of honeycomb. Man, why'd you stain me? It's not good for you there, buddy. Let me see if I can get my camera and show you what's going on right here. Okay, so in here, I got this little ball of bees. Let's see if I can just ease in here without messing any of them up. That's what it is. Just a little piece of honeycomb, and I'm actually going to have to get that off. Let me get set up here, and then I will let you watch. All right, that's nearly the best I can do as far as the camera I'm set up right here. All right, I gave him some smoke. I'm just gonna see if maybe I can just peel it back. Come on. Excuse me. Don't want to harm any of them. But I do want to get rid of the honeycomb. I'm going to save all the honeycomb and I'm going to put it on my top board. And uh, they will actually, they'll reuse it. But some of this might actually have honey in this little piece of comb here. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to be careful with it. I 
I can feel the air coming out of this hive from all their, from the, I guess just their wings. Okay, inside this, I scraped this little piece. This is why you want to save all this comb. That is nothing but pollen up in there. They will get every bit of that. It's really cool. Next week, you see, I'm doing all this this week because next week we actually have just pollen all and all that too. We have some well, pretty cold weather coming in this next week. So, sorry, girls, I gotta move y'all. piece right here. This is the larger piece. And they are working in it right now. So. And there it comes. So, in here, that thing is slam full. Let's see, I don't know. I'm struggling with my camera, guys thing is slam full of pollen we're going to save every bit of that that we can because they will said they will reuse all of that the frames i bought did not have the foundations with them and that's the same time that we had the swarm that i, that I got so it's kind of one of the things i had to just do what i had to do because i did not have the time to go by exactly what I needed. So I'm going to take and put an empty frame in between these. And see how that does. That pollen patty, I, I watched some, I don't, how I did this, I probably won't ever do that again when that's gone because I don't like it having the mess like that. It, that's not me. It's not how I like to do things. But I watched somebody do that. And since I, when I done it, I just, I don't like the way that does. It's just too much, too much junk everywhere. All right, but yeah, that's pretty cool. They are staying very busy in here. So I built this box, so if you wonder why it looks like it looks, because I built it. Anyways, frames I did buy. One of them ants on there. So, anyways, let me put the, our top board here. I actually, this one here because I got some beans in it. Alright, in the lid I have all the all the pieces of honeycomb that we got off the wall with all that pollen in it. I'm gonna take that honeycomb and actually just set it right here by the entrance and you know what you can't see what I just did so we'll set the pieces of honeycomb right by the entrance where they will find it that my wife would not like the same color that'll be divided put that there I'm gonna go ahead and just strap the top back down just to be safe so guys I do appreciate you watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel we have uh, kind of revamped the channel. It has been LTS Adventures, Land to Sea Adventures for a while. And it's not that we don't enjoy what we was doing, but our life, it really revolves around what we do here. And the adventuring is really kind of hard to uh, have a new adventure every week. So what we're gonna do is just kind of keep things as they are with this and uh, we're gonna see where it goes. I know we enjoy videoing and having fun around the house videoing the animals the bees 
and uh we really enjoyed enjoyed our new adventures here so we're still keeping adventures there's the one that lost the stinger or i say lost the one that gave it up sacrificed itself for me guys we really do appreciate it thank you for watching we'll see you next time